So hi there. First of the new year of my uh, uh, new uh, YouTube videos. So welcome back to the new year. Welcome to you if you're new here. Um, excuse the squinty eyes. <laughs> I'm looking straight into the sun because otherwise I have a horrible, uh, I have a horrible shady face in the background. But I'm just here today um, doing some water um, ICM. And I just thought I'd share it with you because I haven't put a video out for a month or so. So I thought I'd do a water one rather than the woodland one today for your enjoyment. And I'm just here, this is my waterfall. Can't see, there we go. Oop. I hold it like that, I can see whether you can see it. This is my waterfall. It's nothing fancy. Um, we're just in a park on the edge of Arnhem in the Netherlands. So um, I'm not in the middle of the Lake District or in the middle of Snowdonia or anything <laughs> lovely or in the Rockies, somewhere where you get beautiful, beautiful, massive waterfalls. We're talking a drop here of maybe three meters. <laughs> it's not big, but it's perfect for what I want. And hopefully you'll see that in the pictures. Um, basically, I'm just having an experiment this morning. I've got a little bit of time to play with and the sun's come out. And um, yeah, just looking for all the different sort of speeds, changes in contrast with the water. Um, so I'll just run you through a video in a minute, just where I point them out of things that I've noticed. Um, but in water photography, uh, ICM photography, you need to think about the fact that the, your subject is moving as well as the fact that you're going to put some intentional camera movement into it. So um, it's worth thinking probably slightly shorter shutter speeds. I'm working on about 0.6 of a second today. Um, normally work somewhere around quarter of a second, 0.6 of a second. And that seems to work for me. You have to do a very fast movement to get it or a very small fast movement to get the effect. Um, and as you can see now, to show you, I can show you, the sun is really sparkling on the um, the water. So it wasn't when I was here, I arrived here about half an hour ago. The sun's come up a bit more now. So I'm going to go and have a play a little bit more with that and uh, hopefully you'll see the results. Enjoy. So as I mentioned, I was just going to show you some points to pick out, okay? Because you've got a lovely waterfall here and it goes from everywhere from really quite smooth water to water that's flying through the air water that's kind of cascading over areas and then you have like areas here where if you look carefully you can see in the middle here um, where the water is going through you can see there's like little sparkles you have to kind of train your eye to be able to see them um, but you can see there's a change in light and these come out as just tiny little sparkles rather than massive movement when you're using ICM you go a little bit further down, you've got like really shooting. These will create really long sort of sparkles because you've got quite a long movement of water. Um, you can go for the big, big image and go for the, the whole waterfall, or you can decide. I, I really like this little area here on the top here, and I quite like this one. So you'll see this appearing quite a lot. And I love this little clump of grass on the background on the other side, so I also did that. So um, hopefully, you'll see lots of examples from this. Uh, waterfall shortly. guys so um i hope you enjoyed the little video um sorry if the noise from the water was a bit uh, loud hopefully you could see it um basically what you're seeing now is my lightroom and just um, a small selection of the photos that i've edited and had a play with um just following my visit to the waterfall i think i've come up with 20 ooh, 25 i think i took about 600 photos in the space of an hour or so I'm just going to run through them. This is not a really long video, this one. Um, it's just to show you the location and then the things that I uh, managed to get. But you can see up on the top right hand side, if you want to look at things like the settings here, um, you can see the, the depth of field. Um, you can see the shutter speed. I was work, always work at ISO 100. Always choose um, yeah minimum f16. Uh, if I've got the right lens on, I can go up to f22 with my 70 to 200. If I'm sitting on my 50 millimeter, I can only go up to f16. 
Um, quarter of a second is my sort of go-to, although you might see on some of these images that I was sat um, nearer around, um, oh, just trying to get rid of that for you. Um, I was sat nearer around a uh, sixth of a second because I wanted to be a little bit faster. So I'm just gonna go through these very um, quickly. It's just so you can see. I'm just gonna see whether I can do this. Uh, no, I'll stick it there for the time being. So I started off uh, wide, this shows the whole waterfall and I don't do much portrait stuff, but I did quite like this. Um, as you saw in the video, it um, did the sun did come out, so it started shining beautifully on the water and it sort of caught the grass colour, it was really lovely. Um, a bit more my usual sh shooting wide. Um, I think you probably saw this in the video, you certainly saw me sort of just hesitate on this little clump of grass here. I really love the bright green grass. I'm not sure looking at it whether the grass is a distraction, um, but it does kind of help balance up the water that's coming down. Um, I'm not sure whether this is a finished photo yet, I'm not sure about this area here on the right, but if I crop it, it starts to feel a little bit enclosed, so I need to have a play and see where that goes from there. Um, I love this one. I shared this on uh, Facebook and a couple of groups as soon as I saw it come through. Sometimes when I'm going through my uh, Lightroom and I've imported photos in, something just grabs me. And this was the one that grabbed me from uh, the whole set. Um, I love the movement. I love the light. I love this tiny little bits of gold that's coming through where the lights just caught it in a couple of places. Love the browns coming from some leaves that are stuck underneath. And I love the green that's coming through underneath on the reed. So I really, really like this one. Um, going in close again, I think you saw it on the video, I think I hesitated over this area. There was actually a twig sticking out here which I've moved because it was um, a bit of a distraction for me because I wanted a smooth uh, bit of water. But again, I love the, um, the oranges and the browns coming through on this with the water. Um, capturing the movement, the speed, the energy of the water. Um, again, holding the highlights, um, getting blacks, whites in there, greens. Um, basically, if you have a look on my side, you'll see that I haven't done that much to any of these photos. They come in um, and normally play with the whites and I play with the blacks. I normally add a tiny little bit of vibrance. Sometimes I might play with the exposure, um, but most of these I've hardly done anything to at all. This one um, I shot at, this was F22, so it's a little bit um, uh, um, greater depth of field, so it darkened down a little bit. And I really like this because it was quite dark and I loved how the, the gold was coming out. And I've deliberately left it dark so that all the focus is just on the waterfall. Moving through these ones again, I just loved how it was cascading, sort of falling down over several. And again, kept it at F22 to keep the area quite dark. Um, so that it was all about the waterfall in the middle. This one's actually been cropped in a little bit because I just love the movement of the water coming down and then bouncing out again on the left. It kind of looks like some um, sort of crinkled uh, plastic wrap here for me. This one I've been having to play with the, some of the um, portrait ones I've been cropping 10 by 8 just to look at textures. So it's more about the textures and the movement of the water, not about the, the actual waterfall itself. Um, bit of a wider one. Yeah, this one's quite a contrasty image. I'm not 100% sure it's one of my favourites, but I've left it in here for the time being. Uh, again, similar sort of style, uh, but I love the energy and the movement of the water and the sort of sparkles. Um, this is one I sort of rested on during the video as well. Again, I'm not sure. It's quite often I've got this sort of little area here and I'm not quite sure whether I like that um, or whether this should be a different crop or something, but I absolutely love this kind of movement through in the middle here and I love the sort of the shape up here coming through from the background as well. Um, again love the love the colour, love the movement, love the softness um, and then I love all these sort of sparkles on top. Something similar again quite sharp light sparkles on this um, the nautical te was tending to be a little bit smoother here rather than um, the here you can see there's a lot of movement on the water whereas the here was a little bit smoother so it just picks up all the light sparkles same as this one it's sort of cascading over a sort of gentle movement compared to here and I quite like that and it, you just sort of see the edges of it and again I quite like the the oranges and the browns with the greens in this one this one was a bit, very smooth bit of water, but the light was just catching and dancing on the top. Um, and I just love this area and the blues and the oranges. I love the colours that are coming through here. It's fantastic. Um, this one's quite a vibrant, quite energy um, 
This one was one you saw earlier, the gra green grass. I moved on to the other side of the waterfall to take this. Um, quite like it, but I think it's a bit busy. So we'll see whether that goes any further. Um, this one, again, is just different textures. And I loved all the little sort of sparkles here, but it's kind of a bit of a, a dull image compared to some of the others. It's not got the energies that some of the others have got. This one's all about the um, the movements and the colours and the, the lines here. Um, again, the portrait crop to accentuate that. Um, this was where it just went over the edge of a like a little tiny weir. I mean, we're talking like an inch, <laughs> two inches. Um, but I just loved how this green um, weed was getting pulled over the edge here. And I stood sort of to sort of take it up upwards in a portrait shot. I did actually take this in portrait. It's not twisted. Um, but I love the, the contrast between this bright white area and then you've got the middle ground here and then you've got this lovely smooth brown and green on the right. Um, in contrast, same location, but I've just, uh, um, yeah, just shot it slightly differently. I don't know whether there was any difference in, uh, yeah, this one's F11. So um, there's a shallower depth of field and a little bit more light. And then this was F22 to knock the light back so that I was just literally, it was quite dark apart from where the light was capturing the middle. Um, the last few are slightly different. I spotted this um, green leaf underneath just before where the, the wheel was actually just here. Um, and I just love this and I love the lines coming through here and the green undertones. Uh, very similar, but this is not an ICM. This is just a straight image. And I just loved all the sort of the patterns and the reflections and the lines and the, the movement of the water here. This might be used later on in a multiple exposure or something like that. Same with this one. Um, not sure about this triangle up here, but I quite like uh, the overall feel of it. And then to finish this one again, the leaf. These last few that aren't multiple expo um, that aren't ICM are more. I'm thinking of using them in multiple exposures later. So I hope you enjoyed that whiz, and it was a bit of a whiz through, <laughs> um, of just the images that I created from that little miniature waterfall. We're talking a waterfall that's, you know, it's just in my local park. It's not amazing um, or anything, but it just offered so many opportunities, depending on which side you stood, whether you zoomed in, whether you went wide. Um, it was all just about looking for the contrast points, the difference in movement, the difference in speed, the difference in direction. Those were the kind of things. And then little things like this, like leaves underneath the water that I noticed while I was sat there I was probably there for about an hour just shooting it and over the time my eye became accustomed and started looking for more things so I hope you enjoyed that welcome if you're new and you've only just subscribed in the last month or two since I've been doing my last videos um, love to see any comments um, subscribe that would be fantastic and if you enjoyed it do let other people know and I look forward to seeing you soon thanks a lot